president of the People's Homeless Task Force. And who says you can't take on City Hall? We're suing the city of Anaheim to stop the sale of the Angel Stadium for pennies on the dollar. This money could be used to help people across the city. It's $150 million, which is a ridiculous amount considering the land is worth $642 million at least. But estimates showed in the past it could be $500 million to a $1 billion. That could pay off Anaheim's debts and that could also give plenty of money to social services, which is always our fight. The fight for the homeless, the fight for the needy, the fight for the elderly. That's where we stand, and that's why we're fighting these secret negotiations between the mayor and Artie Moreno to give away Anaheim's most valuable asset. This asset belongs to the people of Anaheim, not to the mayor of Anaheim. And we have to stop it. That's our goal, and our goal is also to reveal the secret negotiations and the money that's transferred behind the scenes, and that's what the lawsuit is all about. And then, hopefully, we'll get the proper amount of money for the Anaheim Stadium to pay off the enormous debts of Anaheim and move forward with a, a beautiful operation that could happen there, and that would be with the, uh, with the help of Artie Moreno, who could hopefully pay into our great city why is this important? This is $150 million is what they're trying to, to uh, sell the stadium for. This uh, Artie Moreno and his associates have paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to Harry Sidhu, the mayor, and the city council members. That now they're engaged in secret negotiations to sell this property for pennies on the dollar. This is corrupt politics at its worst in the United States. I'm not sure how the United States functions with this sort of illegal activity going on behind the scenes. And Anaheim is in incredible debt right now. We have a, a $734 million net deficit, and that's based on John Moorlatch's uh, State of the City report. Anything else you'd like to say? I'd like to say thank you very much for being here. <laughs> and, uh, and, and we, we you know something, um, we have to reveal the secret politics that go on behind the scenes, and this has to stop at all levels of government, but we're fighting it here because we can. Dave, do you want, do you want to, this is Dave, our communications expert, do you want to say anything to you, Dave? If you want to, <laughs> would I say okay. fill in sure. anything, <laughs> fill it in or back it up? There you go. What is your name? Dave Duran. He's the communications D -A -V -E -E -N -D -U -R -A -N. expert. D-A-V-E and D-U-R-A-N. Is it Dave or Dave, it's fine. Communication D U R A N. Okay. D U R A N. Yes. What? Why are you here? What is this about? So, um, again, Secretary of uh, People's Homeless Task Force, Orange County, and as Mike had mentioned, everything he said is important. But the way all of this came about is the city, uh, the mayor especially, uh, with lack of transparency, lack of following the law by and uh, following the, the Brown Act. The public has not been allowed to participate the way we have a right to participate in regards to how the sale or the, 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 all the negotiations have taken place. You know, therefore, it's our contention that all of this was done unlawfully and it should be rescinded. It should go back to square one. The public should be involved. And if the public wants to give away hundreds of millions of dollars, then the public can vote for that. But all of this was done without the public's knowledge, um, for the most part. And, and so it really, really should go back to the, to the drawing board, back to the beginning, and let's see what the public has to say about giving away the biggest asset that they have in the city um, to, to the Angels. It's not about the Angels. It's about, it's about how this mayor, and it's about how the process was, how corrupt they are in their negotiations, and how unlawfully they've conducted themselves um, in regards to the Brown Act. They still will not let the public participate face-to-face -face or live through city council meetings, where, where other cities are allowing all of that, and they're using COVID as, a, as the excuse, and, and that's just a lie. Um, it, it should be open to the public by now. If the county can do it, other cities can do it, Anaheim can do it.
So here we are, Anaheim City Hall. This is a little protest about the corruption. A lot of corruption, as a lot of you know, in Anaheim and of course a lot of other cities. But let's pray for change. Pray for big difference, big differences to come sooner than later. If you like, also do join Homeless Advocates for Christ on Facebook. Please share the video, like, subscribe. Pray for salvation, of course, for the lost that need salvation, the most important thing, and that the Lord will be exalted always. Thanks for your prayer and support. May God bless you all. Just seek first the kingdom always. Bye-bye.